Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with Happy Mail and a mystery box haul. What? All right, first is this. Yes, it's been here for a bit. I have not had time to sit down and do a video. Uh, this is from, it says, Tina. So from Tina, I have got a pink dotted package, which I think is so cute. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see if I can get it open without messing anything up. How to use scissors, Deborah proof packaging, y'all know the drill. And there's more. But wait, there's more. Ooh, okay. Got everything out of that bag. Oh gosh, I'm gonna drop it. Pepper Palace. Okay, I don't even know what's in here, but I love the bag, the Pepper Palace bag, because it is a hot shop. I have been to one before. Oh, wow, it's actually from the Pepper Palace. What? There are several things in here. This, oh my gosh. All right, this is probably stuff that's going to burn my face off. This is called Flatline Seasoning and Flatline Hot Sauce. Oh my gosh, in the hot sauce... Reaper peppers, oleo resin, capsa basically capsaicin, oh my gosh. And several other peppers, ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, seven pot chocolate. She tried to kill me. She is trying to kill me. It says best if refrigerated. So I will stick that in the fridge. And the seasoning is called the end, flatline seasoning. Oh my gosh. Just when you think you've reached the end, Pepper Palace will flatline your taste buds by combining the world's hottest ingredients. You have been warned. I have been warned. I love the packaging on this, though. That is so cute and clever. Oh, my gosh. I will probably have to do this live. Because, of course, I will. There's more in this bag, y'all. There is more in this bag. But, yeah. Y'all tried to kill me. Tried to kill me. Oh my gosh, and now I know y'all are trying to kill me. First off, a meat stick. Meat sticks are always yummy. Ghost heat meat sticks. I guess I've got hot taste handled for a while, huh? And then this one, Bean Boozled Fiery Five Challenge. Sriracha is the lowest, Carolina Reaper is the highest, and they are hot flipping jelly beans. Tina. You just want to see me suffer, don't you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And yes, there will be some hot taste. We'll definitely be seeing all of this. Because I know the hubby's not going to take it. He doesn't like hot spice anything. I like it hot. But wow. Some of this is... It's going to be face melting. Yep. Face melting from Pepper Palace itself. Gosh, I haven't been to a Pepper Palace in more than 25 years because it was long before I met the hubby that I went to a Pepper Palace. And I love the bag, absolutely love it. Let's get a shot of that. Pepperpalace.com. Tina, thank you. This is going to be fun. Oh my gosh. I'm going to die, but it's going to be fun. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. Yeah. Now, I have been told by Miss Lisa, open it already, okay? Because I ordered one of her mystery boxes. She has some small mystery boxes left, but no more big ones. Um, the postage is high, and that's why the price is what it is. Because she's in England and I'm not. So, yeah, postage. But, but, I don't remember what I paid. It wasn't terrible. I'm trying to get in the box. I'm using scissors. 
And yes, I say skizzers because, well, that's the way it's spelled. That's the way it should be pronounced. Skizzers. And there's a lot of tape because she didn't want it to bust open, which is probably a good thing. Let's see if I can get it open. Still not yet. Hang on. That one had some extra super whammon I think. Oh my gosh. There's extra stuff in here. It's not just the yarn I ordered. Now I have tape on my scissors. Of course, a ladybird loves. Very, very cute. Um card. I love her cards that she has. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Yes, I'm sure there's going to be something that I absolutely love in here, including this. <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's so cute. It's a coaster. I might stick a magnet on it and put it up on the fridge. Because I don't want to get it messed up. It's so cute. It's like it's like an Oscar butt. It's an Oscar butt coaster. Speaking of Oscar. <gasps> it's a bigger one. Because Oscar is so teeny. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. That is so stinking cute. Ooh. Ooh. This would be so cute hanging from a bag. Like, for real. It's like the hanky stitch markers. Only bigger. I mean, too big to be an earring, right? But this would be super cute hanging off a bag. It's a keychain. I love it. Oh, thank you. That's so cute. But Lisa, really? I love these. These are awesome. Yes. All right. Now we're getting into the yarn. That, I haven't even gotten to the yarn yet. Are you kidding me? Tissue. More tissue. Ooh, there's vacuum pack in here. Vacuum pack. Wow, there's a lot crammed in here. A lot of interesting stuff. about 60 meters of baby pomp. That's what it says on it. Okay, it's like a pom-pom kind of deal and sort of like stitched in between. Hmm, 100 grams. Do not ring, do not iron, do not bleach. Two stitches between bobbles, it says, with a four millimeter um, knitting needle Knitting is beyond my comprehension, so probably about the same. Minimum wash, short spin, dry flat, do not bleach. Okay. I have got to see what to do with this stuff because it's super soft. 100% polyester. I love the color on it. That's a nice, I wish that my camera would show. Let me see if I block my light. It's a nice, it's a pretty baby yellow with white. It's two together, so it's not just a single thing. Okay, I have no room to put things. Let me move the chair over here so that I can set this down. Love yarn. Our balls of yarn may differ according to the quality. Made in Turkey, one UMAC ball. I think a lot of it is in Turkish. What an interesting yarn. It's like a tape yarn. My nails are awful. I'm so sorry. I was going to take off my polish and redo my nails, and that just didn't happen. Um, that is really cool looking. Ooh, th this will have to have a special use. Absolutely. It's one of those things that it'll tell me what it wants to be later, but I like it. And actually, it's soft. I don't know what it's made from. I don't think they do either. But... It's soft and it's like a tape yarn. Very cool, very cool. Okay, I'm leaving that ice because it is packed up nicely and there's a lot of it. Oh, 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 roll with it tweed. I love this stuff, I really do. Um, I have some other colors of it. This is wildflower. Look how pretty. 
Wow. See, and people, like, they, they bash Red Heart because they, they think of um, Super Saver, which has gotten better over the years, but it's still rough to work with. This is not like Super Saver. This is 100% acrylic. It's 150 grams, 271 meters, and it's a four weight. I'm trying to find an end so I can just pull it out and show you. It's got two colors twisted together. And it goes along and then it just changes one color or the other as it goes. Very, very neat. And this says it takes a five millimeter knitting needle. What about crochet? What about, oh, here it is, here's crochet. 5.5 millimeter hook or an eye, which is a size nine. But yeah, love it. I think this would make a super cool looking hat. Yes, I love colorful hats, sue me. That is squishy. This is some soft yarn. Oh my gosh. That is super squishy. It's a blanket yarn of some sort. It's unmarked. There's no tag or anything. Oh wow, there's more under there. <laughs> I didn't realize because she vacuum packs a lot of this stuff. But that is super soft. I don't know how much is on there, but whatever this goes with, super squish. And a pretty color too. It's blue. There's pink in this box, but we're not getting there yet. Okay. Wow. Okay. Holy cannoli, there's a lot in here. All right. I have a couple of bricks of yarn. They're ice. <laughs> Let me see if I can get in here. Oh my gosh, it's vacuum sealed. I have never had vacuum sealed yarn before. You can hear it sucking in that air. Okay. Let's give it a second to try to come back to life because it's been squished. Oh, how neat. This is cotton acrylic. 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. It is a chain spun yarn. I love me some chain spun. That looks to be about, it says light. I'm guessing that might be a three. It's a three or a very light four. But being chain spun, it kind of poofs up a little bit when you're not pulling it and stretching it. Like if, when you're crocheting, if you kind of pull it, it gets really thin. But then it kind of poofs back up as a chain. That is cool. Oh, I love this. And I've got a ton of it. Well, not a ton, literally. But let's see, these are 50 gram balls. And there's one, two. Oh, God, there's a lot in here. Hang on. I got to get these out of here. I got to see how many I have. Because she has crammed a lot into these little bags. I mean, for real. Holy cannoli. Okay, in that bag, there were six of them. Okay. All the same color. Wow. I got a bunch of ice yarns, y'all. I love it. Oh, don't want to drop it. Don't want to drop it. Okay, let's put this over here safely because there's another bag full of them. Another brick full of yarn. All we know, it's just a, another brick full of yarn. My apologies to Pink Floyd. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let me get him out of here. Let me get him out of here. Okay. So I have 12 flipping skeins of this. Okay, how much is in each one? Does it say, does it say cotton pixels? I'm trying to see what it even says the weight is because it's got the weight on there, but it's almost impossible to read. Oh, it's a three light. Okay. This one was easier to read than this one. It doesn't say how much is in here though. 50 grams, 90 meters. I was looking right at it. So I have six here there's six there so I have 12 times 50 grams that's 600 grams what wow that's a lot and each one is 90 meters so that is a ton of freaking yarn 
What am I going to make? A 50 cotton acrylic. That would be a cute top. Like a tank top. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I'm excited. I am very excited. Don't you dare fall. Stay there. I am so glad I don't have Oscar's supervision right now because stuff in a chair, he'd be all over it. And look, there's another vacuum bag. There's another brick of yarn, okay? This one has pink and has a really pretty blue. I remember seeing this on her channel when she got it and opened it or something, and I really, really adored it. So, yes. Okay, I gotta get in here. Gotta get in here. I love mystery boxes. <laughs> you can't tell. Oh, well. <laughs> it's, it's moving back up. It's going, <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Yep. And I remember her saying that when she squit, when she put one of these in, in here, a band broke. That's okay. I am not that particular about it. This one is the shade of fondant. It is style craft, special, chunky. A hundred grams. And... Premium acrylic, okay, about 144 meters. Anti-pilling. All right. Anti I love anti-pilling yarn. This is so soft. That is a nice chunky. Let me get a little more air back into it again. But yeah, and I like pink, so I am not offended by the pink. I'm not contaminated by the pink. I like it. This has been an awesome mystery box. Hang on, hang on. There's more in here, though. There is more. I will fix that label after a while. Ooh, I didn't realize there were two of these in here. Okay. They were really pushed together. <sighs> Deramores. Deramores Studio Anti-Pilling DK. Yes, queen. Um, 50 grams. So I have 100 grams of this. Oh, that is lovely. It says 100% acrylic. What's the? It says use a four millimeter um, crochet hook on it. Wow. That is really nice anti-pilling. That is super soft. The color is so pretty. It's called slate. And it's not like just solid gray. There, there's some variegation in it which makes the color way more interesting i really like that wow i've never had deramores before i got deramores sorry sorry i get excited it's yarn and finally last but not least i remember seeing this on her channel this is hayfield illusion double knitting uh, 100 grams, which is about 285 meters, 100% acrylic, made for Hayfield under license in Turkey. It's got a shade and a lot. It doesn't have a specific color number, now does it? Machine washable, wool cycle, cool, tumble dry, or dry flat. Dry press, never wet press, maybe dry cleaned. By Sirdar. It says use a four millimeter hook. Looking at this yarn, wow. Uh, look at the way it's put together. That is so stinking cool. It's like a blue wrapped around the black, and the blue has a little shine to it. It's pretty soft. And I really adore that color. I love that. The blue and the black together. Whatever this ends up being, it's going to be for me. And, oh my gosh, it changes color. What? Look in there. Out here's a lighter, there's darker. I'm digging, I'm digging in this skein. Yes, I am. That is some cool yarn. Oh, I love it. I don't know what this is gonna be, but it'll be something for me because yeah, that is so pretty. I love the blue and the black together. Wow. That is one heck of a mystery box, Lisa. Dang it, that's nice. Plus the little extras. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love it. Cool keychain, cool keychain. Little coaster. A little Oscar butt. <laughs> See the middle? Yeah. 
And then a littler one of like a normal size kitty. <laughs> yes, I am tickled. Yes, I am. And she said something about a challenge to me on the phone. I wonder what that's going to be because I'm totally digging all this. It's not going to fit all back in this box, I can tell you that. That vacuum pack thing is really cool. But I'm going to try to put it back in the box just so I can get it back in the other room. Without having to make multiple trips. Because, you know, I'm lazy. I don't want to get up and walk that much today. Okay, I'll show you the inside of the box once I get it all jammed back in here-ish. I mean, some of it will be sticking out of it, of course. Look at all that ice yarn. That is going to be a cute top. I don't know what top, but it's going to be cute. This will match the super soft chenille pillow that I have. Yes, I made myself a chenille pillow. Yeah. Now I want fall and winter to come back so that I can have a hat out of this and wear it because yes, that is so soft. All right. It does not fit in the box that it came in. Not at all. All that uh, shrink wrap stuff or whatever really made it all fit. Wow. All right. Happy day to me because I got an awesome present from Tina. Uh, that hot sauce. I mean, I really think it's going to burn my face off when I try it, but I'm going to try it anyway. You know I am. And all this awesome yarn and these cute little extras and woo! I'm so glad it's the weekend and I can stay smiling all weekend long. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Tina. And uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, a different playlist will have popped up at the top of the video. Check them out. I have other haul and like Happy Mail videos and stuff up there. And um, also check out Lisa's channel because she does have a couple of smaller mystery boxes left. They're a lot less expensive if you live in the UK than if you live here because of shipping. Shipping, we all know how shipping is. So just check with Lisa. She'll let you know about the prices and um, we will have some more fun with this later. Thank y'all. See you soon. Bye.